All right, guys, now we are off to Buena Vista, Georgia with Jim and Melissa Gillen of Shadow Six. Jim and Melissa are gonna talk about staging firearms in the home and some products that will help you do that. So take it away, Jim and Melissa. Hey everyone, it's Jim and Melissa Gilliland of Shadow Six. And in this episode, we're gonna go over firearms in the home. Now, Jim and I have techniques that we use that may be helpful to you that you can use in your home. So there's no secret that people have firearms in their home. And it may not be everyone, but there are definitely firearms in our home. And uh, ways to keep them in your home vary greatly between the people who have them and, and use them and whatnot in different ways. Keeping the weapons in a safe is a very good way to store your firearms. It, you know, if a fire happens or burglary or whatever else, it's a very safe place to keep them. Another place is, you know, whether it be a cabinet or some type of rack that hangs on the wall, another traditional place people keep firearms. But what we want to talk about today is where do we keep firearms in our home to actually use to protect ourselves and our families with. And as you can see, you know, there's several different places that you have them uh, stored around your house. One of the places I want to talk about first is the bedroom. In modern societies, most of the time when you're actually spending time in your home, it's going to be in the evenings at night. And so, you know, a way that to make sure that you have your firearm available is to keep it in the bedroom. And whether it be, you know, your protection long gun, shotgun, a rifle leaned up against the wall or next to the bed, or as you can see here, I've got a crossbreed holster that fits right um, between the mattresses that gives me a fairly natural draw stroke. I can lay in bed if I need to employ it. All I've got to do is reach down, get my master grip, and I'm out of the holster just like I would if it was on my belt line. And that keeps my primary firearm that I carry every day. When I come to the bedroom and get ready for the night, I can take it out of my holster and place it directly into my bedside holster. Another great technique that we use would be in the laundry room. Um, the, our laundry room is located at the other end of the home, so what we like to do is maybe place a firearm up high in a cabinet. You have to keep in mind if you have children in the home that this has got to be out of view and out of reach for them also, especially your young children. Another place that uh, we like to discreetly put a firearm is somewhere in the kitchen. A lot of times your time other than the bedroom is spent in the kitchen and a lot of times the kitchen is connected to the living room. So if there is a home invasion, you've got a place to go to that where you know where you have discreetly hidden a firearm. And something that I love, which is another great option, would be a concealment mirror like what is made by Tactical Walls. Now they have other great options, but the concealment mirror would be my personal favorite. Sure. And so as you can see here, it looks just like a standard wall hanging mirror. However, when you open it up, it's just like a safe or a cabinet would be. Your firearms are stored in there in whatever condition that you need them to be. And you can put a, a long gun, you can put a couple of pistols, you can put kit, lights, and all kind of different things that you might need during a home invasion. It is completely unknown to anybody else that doesn't know your house like you do. And only people that would really know is either someone who has one or someone who you have specifically shown yours to. You can place, you know, the mirrors. They have other options, um, cabinets and shelving and things like that, that you can put anywhere in your home and have the availability of a concealment, true concealment firearm that's your house's holster. So... Um, it's just all of these options. Now, one of the things that is paramount that you have got to remember is we have children in our home. And so safety and education go hand in hand. They're synonymous with each other. And so the understanding that you have and the discipline that you give to your children to understand there is rights and wrongs, do's and don'ts with any firearm, whether it be one that's concealed in your home on your person or at someone else's house. It's you know, we didn't jump in a car, turn the key, and be completely confident in ourselves the first time we did it. The longer you spend time doing something, the more comfortable you get. And it goes just like the same thing with firearms. Mm -hmm. So take these options, look at your home, look at some of the other options, and see what works best for you, and always keep those things in mind to keep you and your family safe. And until next time, you guys hunt the wolf. Protect the flock.